Hey guys, it's Chris. Thanks for stopping by. If you've ever got stuck with a dead battery, you know what a giant inconvenience that can be. And our adventure bikes can always stand to lose a couple of pounds. Today I'm going to take care of both of those issues with anti-gravity's restart battery. This is a great battery, obviously straightforward installation, but there is a customization you're going to have to do in order to take full advantage of the functionality and the fit for this battery. All right, eight millimeter socket. Don't drop it, been there, done that. It's not fun. Pull off the ECM. Put that out of the way. Slide that top plate and an eight millimeter. We'll take off the negative first. Okay, and there's a little washer on there to try not to lose that. All right, so the same size as the stock battery. We'll put it on a scale and see just how they how different they are from a, a weight perspective. Six point one four pounds. Two point oh one. All right, so these threaded nuts fit in behind. But they are just loose. So I'm going to add a piece of tape to that nut just to snug it up so it doesn't move around so we'll have an easier time and we don't have to go fishing if it drops in to the center of the bike. So I've added a little tiny piece of two-sided tape to the back of that square nut. Which should help keep them from falling down inside the bike while we're maneuvering things into position. So the nuts that come in the kit have a uh, 10 millimeter head. The stock ones have an eight millimeter head. So it's worth noting that the, the poles, they're shorter. So there's less room for connectors to face downwards, if that makes any sense. So just twisting this a little sideways will make it fit. So that's the only combination you have to make is that really large 90 degree hangs down a little too far for it, it to stay in exactly the stock position. You just push it out to the sides and it fit just great. Okay, it's time to put the plate back on the top. So this rubber gasket in order for it not to rub against the Z start button or the restart button, I'm going to uh, scrape off about two inches right in the middle right there. And so you really have to scrape because even after you get the foam off of it, there's, it leaves glue behind. So you really, you just have to be patient and scrape the glue to reveal just the metal so that it doesn't grip against that button. Okay, so with that foam removed, it should be easier fit. There's definitely very little room, and that foam is, is a bit much, especially on the front edge here where I think it's rubbing up against these two covers that are covering the poles. I'll do the same and remove the foam from the two corners here. Okay, so I've taken off the foam on the corners so if those posts are the problem. Okay. I mean, it, it's still more snug than it used to be with the stock 
battery. So the advantage is it's snug. It's not going to move around much. It's a little tighter to get the plate on top back in place. However, if you do what I did, which is add a um, SAE connector so that you can charge your battery whenever you like without having to take the top off of the battery, I think um, I won't be fiddling with this top cover too often. All right, so if we're in a pinch and we need to get access to the restart capabilities to this battery, um, you're gonna wanna be able to just pull off the ECM, access the button and get on your way. So currently we're blocking that button. We're gonna need to notch that out. As you can see, I've marked it off where we need to take some of the aluminum away. We should be able to safely take that out without losing any of the strength or integrity of that bracket. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we're gonna use a uh, basically a three-dimensional kind of cutting blade on the hacksaw. You can also use a coping saw in order to take that little piece off and then we'll reinstall the bracket and then this installation will be done. Okay, with the bracket notched out, slide it back into place. We have easy access to the button. The button is actually right there where that sort of half circle is. You can easily hit that button as needed. Okay guys, so that's it for the install on Andy Gravity's Restart Battery. I've dropped four pounds, and with a little customization, I've now given myself the ability to jumpstart my bike with no tools whatsoever. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, smash the like, subscribe to follow along, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.